For this next step, we've built a little jig. This is just a piece of, um, I believe it's nylon, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you don't have this, you'll need to eyeball what we're going to do next. This center section is 800 thousandths and it really doesn't matter what the original piece is. I, it looks to me like this must have been a, about an inch and a quarter. But what we're going to do is we're going to set the bottom cap on to that jig. If you don't have the jig, as I said, you're just going to have to eyeball things at this point. Now comes our silicon adhesive. We use a large tube obviously since we do quite a few of these but the procedure is the same whether you use a large tube such as this or one of the smaller ones with the nice pointy cap that comes with it we are going to put a little mountain of adhesive just on the inside on both sides of the set screws that are sticking up. Now don't be afraid to use a little excess adhesive. We want the adhesive to stick up higher than the set screws twice the height that the set screw is protruding is not a problem. Even more than that is not a problem. Try to stay within the confines of the surface that you're applying to if possible, but if you get a little excess on it's no big deal. If you get some on the threads from the bottom cap then, or even on the set screw threads it's not going to cause any problem we just want to be sure that we've got good adhesion between this aluminum surface and the printed circuit board take a second here to cap up my adhesive so that it doesn't dry out Okay, then we take the printed circuit board, the balls up, and what we want to do is place the set screw underneath the groove between the balls. Now, we need to be careful because there are openings here where the balls have been soldered in. So we want the set screw to go before, between these openings. We do not want to let the set screw slip down into one of these openings where we make contact with the ball. That would make the to probe totally unusable. By the way, the reason that we put the set screw here between the two balls is so that when you are making adjustments later on you are ma making the maximum adjustment for the motion of the set screw, the movement of the set screw. If we were to put the set screw here in this broader area between the pairs of balls, what would happen is that the printed circuit board might have a tendency to bow in su such that it would there would be flex at the screws and reduce the accuracy of the econoprobe. So again we want the set screw to be on the land between the balls. I'm going to need to pick this up. We'll be out of frame for a second I'm sure.
Okay, there you have it. I'm certain that you won't be able to see, but the, let's see how we can get in frame here. The set screw is right underneath the groove, midway between the balls. Okay, once you are sure that you have that, uh, if you're using a fixture, uh, take a quick look and just see if you've got any silicon adhesive that's really obnoxiously out of place. Here's a little piece that's is a little bit out of sticking out quite a ways. I just just using a Kleenex here and just taking a little bit of doing a little bit of cleanup to make it look a little bit neater. Actually, I don't think any of this that I'm doing would have made any difference if it had been left in place. Uh, but doesn't hurt to be overly cautious. Okay, take this apart. Now if you were to have done this by hand, you would have just had to sight down through this bore and line up these two openings. It doesn't matter if you're a little bit off because it's not the relationship of the print circuit board to the body of the probe or even the printed circuit board to the bottom cap. A little, there's quite a bit of tolerance in the relationship to those pieces. It's the relationship of the printed circuit board to the contactor and the adjustments that we make to that that we'll see later on that are important. This needs to be set aside and allowed to dry. 24 hours is the best situation. You can push it at about 8 hours but if you continue the work after 8 hours and you actually complete the job before 24 hours has elapsed, you increase the chance that the silicon adhesive will not have cured fully and may break loose in the process of adjusting the probe as we go down further in the, in the assembly process. So as I said, the best situation is to let this set for 24 hours.